Hi, I'm Tyler from QBP. I'd like to talk to you today about the evolution of tire technology from tube type tires to UST and now finally to tubeless compatible tires. Where we started as an industry were tube type tires using an inner tube, a tire, and a rim made to accept tire and inner tube. Where we went from there was to UST tires introduced in the early 2000s. Seeing an opportunity for a lack of tire selection, we then evolved to stands no tubes, which really kind of revolutionized what we thought we could do with tubeless tires. Now we've got the next generation of tires, which are tubeless compatible and really have the best of both worlds. Tube type tires can be identified by a couple of things. They're going to have a very pliable bead. And they're going to have a very pliable casing. Also, when you look at the hot patches of the tire, there should be no call outs as to any specification for either UST or tubeless ready. UST compatible tires are going to be among the easiest to identify. It's quite simple. All you have to do is look for the UST tubeless logo, letting you know that the tire has been certified to, for use to be airtight without sealant. You can also look for a couple of other features. Uh, the first one is a thick square shaped bead that's going to lock into a UST type rim. Uh, you're going to have a casing that's going to be a little bit more structured, a little stiffer than a standard casing. You're also going to see that uh, the tire is fully butyl sealed, so none of the air can get out and you don't need to use sealant in order to run it tubeless. Tubeless compatible tires can be called a wide variety of names. You see tubeless compatible, tubeless ready. In the case of this WTB tire, it's called TCS, but they all share some common features. Uh, the first feature is that they're going to have a very similar shaped bead to a UST profile. So it's a nice square bead that's going to interface with the rim very tightly. Uh, the other thing that you're going to find is that the sidewalls are going to be a little bit firmer than what you'll see on a tube type tire, but not quite as firm as what you'd see on a UST tire. And then all of the tire casings are made so that they can accept tubeless sealant. You can identify UST wheels by it's very simple, just the simple UST logo that you're going to see on the side of the wheel. This means that the wheel has gone through a certification process that knows that the UST bead is going to interface perfectly with this UST wheel. You can use UST tires, tube type tires, or tubeless compatible tires on a UST rim. So really, you've got a lot of options, but the UST wheel is going to be very, very easy to use tubeless tires on. Stan's no-tubes wheels using uh, BST, which is called bead socket technology, was developed by no-tubes in the mid-2000s. And what they did was uh, their first system was taking a rubber rim strip that you could use in a standard tube type rim that would build up the inner cavity of the rim to allow the bead to set and then really hold tight against the sidewalls of the rim when you put it under air pressure. What they did is they removed that rubber rim strip and just added that extra dimension of diameter by extruding the rim on the inside a little bit taller. You definitely want to put the bead of the tire into the center channel of this rim as you're mounting it, starting away from the valve, finishing at the valve. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to mount most tires to it. Some tires that are super tight on the UST standard side of things can present some challenges with this taller inner profile, but with a little bit of soap and water and a little bit of persistence, you should be able to get most tires to mount to these rims. Tubeless wheel sets, tubeless ready wheel sets, or tubeless compatible wheel sets can be identified just by a manufacturer's literature or the marking on the wheel that says tubeless. Now, this has gone and mimicked some of that bead profiling that you see with UST. However, it hasn't gone through the same certification process as a UST approved wheel. Uh, this allows you to use UST tires, tubeless ready tires, or tube type tires, although because the certification process hasn't been achieved, that means that there might be a little bit more love and persistence that takes to convert these wheels to tubeless. However, on wheels like these Industry 9 uh, Trail Torch wheels, it's really easy to use any type of tire. Now there are a couple of things that you'll want to make sure that you use when you're using a tubeless conversion process. My favorite things to use are tubeless valves where you've got removable valve cores and to use a tubeless sealant injector that goes right through the valve. What you can do is you can take a tool like this Park Tool VC1, pull out the valve core and look for a nice 
deep throat that allow you to push sealant through that valve with the valve core removed. Then with your sealant installed, just thread the valve core back in, tighten it down, and bring the tire back up to pressure. The next thing that you'll want to think about is the selection of the tubeless sealant that you'd like to use. The most popular sealant on the market today is Stan Snow Tubes. It is a solid suspended in a liquid. You want to make sure to give it a little bit of shake before you install it, but uh, you can get uh, quite a bit of sealant for not a lot of money, and uh, it'll take about two to four ounces per tire depending on how wide the tire is to use. Another option would be Cafe Latex. The interesting thing about this product is it's a latex-based product, and it also has a foaming action that fills the full cavity of the casing, whereas the liquid sealant just goes across the tread cap as you're riding. Orange Seal tubeless sealant is pretty interesting because it's got nanite particles suspended in a nice latex. Uh, you'll want to shake this up before using it. And the other nice thing about this is there's an injector built right into the bottle. Slime Pro tubeless sealant is pretty interesting because it smells a little bit like pina colada. Uh, it's green, it's from one of the originals of sealant manufacturing, and uh, this comes with an injector so you can screw it right onto the cap and squirt it right into your tubeless valve stem. There are a couple of tools that you want to select when inflating and seating the tubeless beads and tires, and they're going to make your life a whole bunch easier. Using an air compressor is always going to be the easiest way to go, and using a tool like the Problem Solver's Air Bob is going to be among the easiest. It's got a trigger, and so that allows you to control the flow of air into the tire. We want to hit as much air into the tire as quickly as possible. So I suggest removing the valve core, setting this up, locking it in, hitting it with a burst of air. If you don't have a air compressor at your disposal, use a nice large diameter floor pump like this Beersman Zaku MTB pump. It's larger in diameter so it pushes much more air per stroke than a standard track type floor pump. This will allow you to seat tubeless tires in most scenarios, but some tighter fits might still require an air compressor. So there you have it with some of the tubeless standards that are on the market today and some of the tools that you'd like to use. However, if you haven't yet tried tubeless, I'd strongly encourage it. It allows you to have more grip, control, and comfort while you're out on the trail. And if there's any concern, you get that flat, don't worry about it. It's just the same. Pop off one bead, throw in an inner tube, bring it back up to pressure, continue on with your ride. <laughs>